Good morning my darlings, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your daily reading for the 30th of June. We are through the half of the year now, the last day of the half of the year and the month. So, the sixth month is the half of the year and tomorrow will be in July. We're going into the second half of the year. Wow, that sounds really ominous. <laughs> Christmas will be here in six months' time, or less, if you think of it that way. Doesn't time fly by? Oh, and the summer is here, and we've already had pretty many good days, and there's strange things happening like floods and uh, hail as big as eggs, as big as this. In Holland, in some parts, it's really strange weather. But these are your cards. One for the morning, one for the afternoon, and one for the evening. Or take your pick, or take all of them. So if you've chosen number one, you've got the King of Pentacles. So everything that you do will have a positive result. That's one way of looking at it, as he has the meter touch. That is what uh, actually means. The King of Pentacles has the meter touch. He knows how to investigate. He knows how to search the right information and then make the right investment so that it is durable and it will bring its returns over and over again whether it is financial, because he's the King of Pentacles, or whether it is in love. Now, for anybody um, that is looking for love, you could actually be meeting the King of Pentacles, which is a Taurus, but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn. So, then you might be getting a job, perhaps you're looking for a job that will pay well and will bring its rediment returns every single month. If you have your own business, then make sure that you make wise investments in offering the right services or goods. And that's pretty difficult to choose from when there are so many things on the market and to stay with the competition. So make sure that you uh, invest wisely. Now if you've chosen number two, and then you have the five of swords. And there's two birds in the back and one bird holding the swords in front. So be careful what you say. Be careful what you do. This card represents arguments and disagreements. It is actually the card of war. Nobody is the winner here because this is a real bad argument. You know, it's not like the Five of Wands. That it is a playful, challenging competi uh, competition um, uh, disagreement. You, uh, like I always say, when I pull the Five of Wands, it is competition. And it's playful um, disagreements to challenge. But it is uh, not a disagreement, it is challenging somebody um, into giving you their opinion or their answer, but there there could be uh, a winning factor as it is competition. And it is friendly. This is not a friendly card, so be careful what you do and what you say, because you might just cut somebody away or you might just cut yourself away and lose out, lose a friendship. Now, if there is a friendship that you, that is quirky at the moment or not feeling that comfortable, then walk away from it, avoid arguments and wait until everybody's calmed down and then you can talk about it if and think about it when you walk away. Do I want this friendship or do I not want this friendship? I would say Wait until the time is quiet and calm down, then talk about it and see what their vision is or what the issue is and see whether you can work out a compromise. So that is the Five of Swords. 
That could be lunch, then could be the afternoon, or it could be your card of the day, your choice. Then, um, you've got the Ace of Swords, if you've chosen number three. The Ace of Swords, well, um, with this deck, I get, with every deck, I do get different messages. That's why I like to use different decks. And this is my favorite deck besides the Enchanted um, Dream Tarot. Um, and in this deck, the hand is on fire. So some, it, yeah, fire also means anger, passion. Um, that is what comes, because it's lying next to the Five of Swords. You want action, and you want it now. You might have been waiting for a long, long time for something, and you're getting really fed up, and this is agitating, and this is firing you up, perhaps, into anger. But perhaps you are fired up in passion, something positive energy, to invest in something. And it's taking a time to grow, and you might find um, you're not really happy. So perhaps you are working in a group, like multi-level marketing, and you've gone into a group. Be careful there, because sometimes, most of the time, it is not dur it has no durability. So make sure you do the research and that it is durable and that it is already proven to be uh, giving rediments and returns okay like I said the king of pentacles make sure he does his homework where is the evidence give me evidence but your passion is a light and you are holding something in your own hand literally you are holding yourself in your hand don't forget that that is your strength like the lion, the lion is also strength, also um, a, a fire sign, the card strength. So stay in your own power, Take, hold yourself, nurture yourself in your hand. Play your tune, you don't have to play according to anybody else's tune, because look, she's holding a guitar or a flute, I don't know whether you can see it, because it does get blurred, I don't know whether you can see it, but she's holding a guitar or a flute. So play your own tune. Have passion. Think logically. Be creative. Tweak something, so it will become yours. Like I said with the King of Pentacles, selling uh, something that you love, that you're passionate about. Um, because there's a lot of choice on the market so make sure that you can sell something and you can only sell something if you're passionate the Gemini's knows this, the air signs they can sell ice cubes to Eskimos so sell something that you it feels part of you and you will see the returns on that so take action on that now we've got the Archangel Michael card and it's a healing card uh, um, it, because it's green and that's why I've made the framework green green and it's grounding be here be now and belong yes be in the here be now and belong your passion is of essence stay with reality don't start fighting don't start drawing your own conclusions. Wait until it's calmed down and then take action. Archangel Michael highlights the importance of grounding Earth sign so that you can be truly present in the here and now. The king is definitely always in the here and now as he has reached the stage because he is grounded and that's why he can do very good business then we have the Cherise angel feather travel plans the angels are here to advise you that travel is coming up for you this may be associated with work or a well-earned holiday the Cherise angel feather is presented 
to you as a symbol of travel. The color Cherise is made up from a balance of 50 yellow and green. This lovely card informs you that you are about to expand your horizons. There you go, investments, new job, new business. By traveling to different destinations to meet new people and enjoy new activities. The angels believe that this travel will usher in an energy that is like fresh air. Great excitement will fill your soul as you prepare and you may feel invigorated even before you leave. The angels will remain close to you during your travels, keeping you safe and secure. So the angels and the divine are with you. So you can eat lime or drink lime or eat, uh, wear cherise as luck and protection and to detoxify. You can meditate on the color as well. The symbols of cherise angel feather is confidence, prosperity and growth. Like your investment will grow. The Cherise Crystals is Garnet, Talisman of Travelers, Aquamarine, Safe Travel Whilst at Sea. And the Archangel is Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, the Patron of Travelers, and Michael, the Protection. So I hope you have enjoyed the reading for today, and I hope. Uh, because July is, uh, is will be here tomorrow and a lot of schools are breaking up for the summer holidays and if you are traveling or going on holiday then please be stay safe and enjoy yourselves take your masks with you take lots of water with you in some countries it's very hot weather so make sure that you take enough water and protection against the COVID with you remember we are slightly out of COVID, but there is a, pr uh, a prediction that um, there will be a second one, uh, you know, a second thing coming, a second storm coming. So be prepared. And if you can stay at home and stay in your own country, uh, where it's most probably more safer, then try to choose an alternative if that if there is an alternative then choose an alternative or even go to family instead of a different country stay safe my beautiful cyber angels and if you're new please subscribe and hit that bell and join us in the life on Friday um, as I can't go live due to uh, private circumstances on Wednesday I love you all and I carry you in my heart take care and remember Together we stand strong, so come together on Friday. Love you and take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.